back to Cooking with Sarah. Today we're on a little field trip. I have opened up a little bakery here in this lovely little cherry and eucalyptus forest. And let me get back to first person and get my hot bar back here. I even have a little little workforce in here, a couple of a couple of employees. And there, there's one you can kind of see there. Uh, they've actually even given me a great idea. We've got a little gift shop over here where we sell candles and stuff. I've even let them, you know, take on the responsibility of doing all the purchasing for it and everything. It's great. So it's working out really well. And let's go on in here and, uh, uh, oh, oh God. What, what is, guys? Hey guys, is, no, no, I don't, I'm not asking about a container. Hey, um, what's what is this smell? It, did is there something wrong with the plumbing? Is the sewer backed up? What's what's going on? It, what it's oh, it's coming from in here. It, oh oh it oh 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 no oh no 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 it, um excuse me excuse me guys. Excuse me. That's, um... Ugh. Let's just take these and, um... There we go. Whew. I'm gonna just leave the door open. <coughs> Whew. Boy. Uh, for those of you not familiar with durian, it is a fruit that is grown in some parts of the world has been described as smelling like a sewer. Somebody had to have been really hungry to try that out. But, uh, no, guys, yeah, I, okay, it was cheap. Okay, okay, you got a good deal on them. That's, I understand. Just clear that with me next time. Okay, please, thank you. Okay, we've got our little reading room, cafe in here. And, okay, I think we can close the door now. Our vast variety of baked goods that we offer. If I told you how to make all this stuff, <clears throat> excuse me, we'd be here for an hour because there are so many baked goods in Magic Farm. You've got your cookies, you've got brownies, you've got lemon bars, you've got ginger snaps, all kinds of different cakes, including your good old vanilla cake. Unfortunately, the only one that's placeable like this is the vanilla cake. Sorry to say. I, just donuts you could do a whole show on by themselves. We've got pies, baklava, uh, key lime pies, cornbread, all kinds of delicious stuff. So we're just going to do a little selection of... Let me hop over the counter like a wild animal here. A little selection of baked goods. So this is our kitchen. Uh, this is the eucalyptus crafting table. Uh, it's just a vanilla crafting table. But just because it went with the theme, I had to put some in. And this is where we keep all of our all-natural food coloring. All of our ingredients, all of our fruit. we got some cookies on the cooling rack over here that just came out. Some other flavors. And a cake that's just come out of the oven. Okay. Well, let's get right into baking some delicious desserts here. Let's start off with something simple, which is a cinnamon roll. Now, you're going to use a lot of dough, and remember, dough is flour, salt water, and a cutting board. You're going to use lots of dough in your baked goods. You're going to use your bakeware a lot. So, to your dough, you add just cinnamon and sugar, roll it up, throw it in your bakeware, throw it in the oven, Get yourself a delicious cinnamon roll. You can, of course, make your vanilla bread, your vanilla cookies, your vanilla pumpkin pie, but if you want to get a little fancier, here is a cream cookie, otherwise known as, well, I'm not going to say the brand name, <laughs> but, you know, I think we know what, what, what we're talking about here, is dough, ch cocoa powder, which is cocoa beans run through a mortar and pestle, heavy cream, and sugar. And no, there is no lard in this cookie. There is no Crisco in this cookie. It's just cream, sugar, and cocoa. Yum, yum. Now, down here in the south, of course, we get sweet potato pies. And my grandmother made an amazing sweet potato pie. 
The only thing that's missing here is the pineapple. Here's your dough again. You slice up some sweet potatoes, add some marshmallows, a little sprinkle of cinnamon, put your nice little lattice crust on top, bake that up until it's nice and golden brown. Or you can throw some pineapple on top of it. To make a banana bread, now this is going to require a lot of weird food here. Uh, bananas, I believe, you can only get through forestry. Yeah, looks like that's um, forestry tree breeding you have to do. Either that or cheat them in or hope you find somebody in a village selling one. Uh, walnut, same story. And pretty much any nut is going to be the same way, I believe. Except for your peanuts, and I don't think you can use those in this recipe. Let's see. Let's just see. Mm, no, you can't. But what you can do, let's see, Brazil nuts, butternuts, sweet chestnuts, yeah, all of your nuts like this are going to be forestry trees that you have to breed for. Pecan nut. Well, where? How do you get a pecan tree? Well, okay. Probably the same story. So you better learn to love your bees. But anyway, banana nut bread is a one of those rare few baked goods that does not start off with dough. You mush up a banana with flour and milk and a little pinch of salt, some walnuts, bake that up until a fork comes out or a knife comes out clean when you poke it in the middle. And finally, on this side, I have, you also have your cheesecakes and your pineapple upside down cakes and your chocolate sprinkles cake. But we're going to go with the queen of desserts here, the red velvet cake. Starts off with eggs, sugar, milk, cream, and flour. Mix those up real nice. Uh, you save some of your sugar and your cream for the frosting. And then to the cake batter itself, you'll add two ounces of rose red dye, which we grow right here. I've got some sitting out there. Add your dye. Let it cool. Slop that cream cheese icing on it. And you're good to go. Now, like I said, donuts, you can pretty much do a whole show just on those. And let me get all these out of here. But they all start off the same way with your basic donut, which is dough fried in olive oil. Very, very healthy. But what's great about this is, once you get the basic donut, you can turn it into a chocolate donut by adding a nice little bit of Baker's chocolate here. And I will get into chocolate in another episode. I'm thinking about doing a candy store for Halloween. But anyway, you add your chocolate bar you get a delicious chocolate glazed donut or you can sprinkle some sugar on it and get your lovely messy yummy powdered donut squirt some grape jelly into it for a jelly donut add sugar and ground cinnamon for the slightly less messy cinnamon sugar donut and finally if you want to get crazy here Add some dandelion yellow, some cactus green, and some rose red, and some sugar, and get a lovely and happy shiny frosted donut. Sadly, maple bacon donuts are not a thing. I wish they were. There is um, there's a mod that adds bacon, like actual bacon, not just you know pork chop bacon, but real true bacon. I. I think one of the mod packs on the Ant Launcher might have it. I don't remember off the top of my head. But anyway, uh, you can see all the just ridiculous variety of baked goods we have here. And as always, if you are confused or not sure what you can make with your ingredients or with your cookware, or you would like to see if there are any varieties of certain food that you'd like to make, NEI is always going to be your personal portable cookbook and you can just look to your heart's content there. Yeah, you smelt grapes, you get raisins. And let's see. Let's see. Butternut? Show me a, show me a butternut recipe.
or hazelnut recipe. That works too. There we go. And that's how you make your pineapple upside down cake. You got your pineapple, your cherries, your nuts, etc. And also, I believe that's used in your brownies. Um, what? Oh, oh dear. I, I should have let him have the night off. He was not feeling well. Uh, anyway. <laughs> that is our show for today. As always, if there is any kind of cuisine you would like to see me do, just let me know. I will squeeze it in somehow, somewhere. I am going to be doing a Halloween episode with candy and spooky foods. It's going to be great. And I am still raising money for Texas Children's Hospital through Extra Life. If you enjoy the show and you'd like to show your appreciation, please feel free to go to the link that's in the description on every video I do and donate a couple of dollars. It would make me happy and it would make a lot of kids at Texas Children's very happy too. Thank you for watching folks. Bon appetit. I will see you next one next time. Bye bye. It still smells like durian in here. Let me just um whew. Ah. <coughs> ah, there we go.